What is going on everyone? Today we have a very special four part mini series on pharmacy informatics. And the footage you're about to watch is actually compiled from both the 2017 and 2018 ASHP mid-year from various informatics pharmacists. And we're gonna talk about four important topics today, uh, or at least four questions that are often asked. The first question is, what is the job market like for informatics pharmacists? The second is, what do you look for when hiring an informatics pharmacist? The third is, is a PGY2 in pharmacy informatics required? And number four, what tip or advice can you offer to students looking to pursue a career in pharmacy informatics? Now, before the footage rolls, I wanna say a big, big thank you to everyone that participated in this video. And with that, I hope you all enjoy the video. I think the supply and demand are relatively well balanced. I think depending on what you're trying to recruit for. So the supply of positions will grow incrementally since most of the institutions and most hospital pharmacies at this point are on an EHR. And that's not all. There are still some paper hospitals and systems out there that will convert. That was where the bulk of the positions came up over the last several years. So now it's more steady growth and implementing you know, larger pharmacy enterprises and the health systems as they try to grow that, they're going to continue to grow those businesses. But I don't think we're going to see big explosions at this point. So from a supply and demand standpoint, we're putting out 27 PGY2 trained residents every year. There's a handful of more, uh, I'll call it traditional or, or old school training that goes on um, with folks that kind of end up in informatics at a smaller institution or something like that or get promoted into it and they get converted into it. So I think the supply and demand are relatively well balanced, but I don't think that our PGY2s and our graduates are going to have any problems getting positions in informatics. I think with the more adaptive for technology in the healthcare system, we're getting more involved involved in technology. Pharmacists are really equipped to be in that section, and I think there is a lot of opportunity out there, especially with new technologies, predictive analytics. You, you hear a lot about blockchain and uh, artificial intelligence. I think there's a huge market in there. There's a lot of ideas to be applied, but need people to work on. So I think there's, there's a huge opportunity coming up in the next couple of years. I think the job market's really good for informatics pharmacists. I think that for pharmacists overall, we're getting to the point where we have a kind of a saturated market. And I think that uh, informatics is an area that's gonna continue to grow, so there'll be more opportunities in the future. Well, the informatics job market for pharmacists right now is in a challenging phase. There's a lot of change moving over to the, to the EHR and safe medication practices. But it's tough because there's no real national certification, so it's hard. It's a tough job market if you want to get into it and you don't have any job experience. I think job market is uh, is pretty pretty open right now. Um, even in the Denver area, where I think some of the pharmacy jobs are saturated, there's a lot of D's. Just as um, uh, health systems are taking on new EHRs, you have a lot of transitions, you know, to some of the the larger, more well-known systems. And as a lot of hospital acquisitions are happening, um, those smaller hospitals will be transitioning from their existing EHR vendor to you know uh, health systems. So I think that there's uh, definitely a lot of opportunity, um, even if that's going out to remote locations or locations where these health these hospitals um, have been purchased and acquired. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that, to that market. So the basic job outlook, I'd say it's pretty strong, um, especially now with. Um, Institutions going live with EHRs as well as doing um, pump integration. I think the demand is going to be there. Um, maybe not so much as from a full-time perspective, but certainly from a consulting or even uh, temporary positions that we're seeing a lot of um, people coming in doing like six-month projects and, and going. But I don't see that demand really there right now for full-time positions. I think the job outlook is pretty good um, right now with a lot of the different requirements associated with um, having technology associated with you know, antimicrobial sewer chips, some of the requirements with meaningful use, but now going into macro and MIPS. I think the outlook is still pretty good, making sure that you, know, you have the professionals at your institution who can customize your technology and automation according to what the demands are of the institution. I actually think the job outlook um, for informatics pharmacists is very strong. 
Um, and why, the reason I say that is, is that electronic medical record software continues to expand in the robustness of the capabilities that it has, especially in the, in the areas of medication management. And as each one of those features and systems and modules gets, gets deployed and implemented at organizations, it becomes very clear that you need pharmacists to help manage the content um, and, and keep it running smoothly. So our team has continued to grow over the years at my organization, and I think uh, it's similar to what I hear from, from other sites. Um, and I think that the value of pharmacy and, uh, pharmacists that, do, that um, specialize in informatics is, is as high as it's ever been. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. If you like the content, definitely hit the Impro RX button over to your left to subscribe, and definitely check out more videos over here uh, to your right. Now, as always, if you have questions, comments, and even better, suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, guys.